What if Goku was born with Dragon Key? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z finale? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on What If Goku Was Born With Dragon Key, we mentioned that Goku went and he used his Master Ultra Instinct power for the very first time as he managed to go and overwhelm Jiren. Jiren went and he hit Goku with everything he's got but Goku dodged each and every one's attack like if they were nothing. Jiren was very desperate to end Goku's life as he continued to go and throw each blast but Goku inside his Master Ultra Instinct power proved to be the far stronger warrior than Jiren could ever be as Goku went and beat the shit out of Jiren and he unleashed a new attack called Kamehameha Wave Dragon Wave as it hit Jiren head on and he died right there. With that Daishingen got the news that Goku is the Dragon Key and he killed Jiren as he now was ready to go and make his way towards Universe 7. Since Zenoku's power cannot work on Goku, it is up to Daishinken to do so. Goku on the other hand went and he began to celebrate with his friends as he came the next day to Vegeta's world and he began sparring with Whis. Despite the fact that Whis was using his full power, Goku inside his Ultra Instinct, Master Ultra Instinct was far stronger than Whis. But before anything can happen, Daishinken has arrived as he confronted Goku. He then went and attacked Goku while Goku tried his hold on against Daishinken but he saw he was too weak. Daishinken beat the shit out of Goku and before he can kill him, Zalama has arrived. Find out what happened inside this part. What if Goku was born with Dragon Key Finale? What? Zalama? I thought you were dead. How did you come back? I saw the Super Dragon Ball ate you right in front of me. <laughs> Dumbass. I am the Super Dragon. We are one. I can never be eaten by my own creation. And now that I'm fully recovered, it's time. You angels get what's coming to you. And I suppose you'll be the one to teach me, huh? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You won't beat us, I can guarantee you. I'll end you and your successor. You can try. As Zalma went and he picked up Goku and with that, Daishiken saw the Super Dragon has arrived right in front of them as he moved out of the way so he doesn't get hit by the Super Dragon. And with that, Zalma and Goku entered the Super Dragon's mouth and now it has disappeared. Mm, he is going to get Goku ready, well, I'll be ready too. Whatever they try to pull, I won't back down. Not until they're dead. Whis bought those mirrors and along with the rest of the Z fighters got up and saw that Daishinken has left and that Goku wasn't there since he did get knocked out by Daishinken and they began to worry on what happened to Goku. Back on Zeno's world, Daishinken has arrived as he saw a few angels were already there waiting for him since they heard about the passing of the other angels and they were concerned and wondering is there any way for them to help and if they're ready for the war. Daishinken then looked towards him and said, yes, it is time we all get ready for this war. We're gonna go and take down these dragons once and for all. Daishinken! What happened? Oh my lord! I was going to kill Goku but then Zalama came and saved his life and left with him. But now I'm gonna get ready so when they arrive back, I won't let them escape this time. Gosh, please be careful Daishinken! I don't want you to get hurt or anything! <laughs> I won't my lord. I am going to go and train myself so I could be prepared. Back on the Dragon Realm, Goku and Zalama has now arrived as the, all the four eternal dragons were staring at Goku. Zalama then told Shenwa to wake Goku up as he did and with that, Goku got up and saw that he wasn't at the battlefield anymore. With that, he did a self wish as he managed to go and heal all of his wounds and injuries, giving him a Zenkai boost which he needed in the fight. But then he saw Zalama and said, Oh man, it's you, the older Piccolo I guess. <laughs> you can call me Zalama, and I'm here to help you achieve the power which not even I have ever gotten before. Power? What are you talking about? And where is Daishinken? I want to kill him. 
You can. Not a stage you are. But, no buts. You saw what he did. He made sports out of you inside your Ultra Instinct mastered form. So we're not ready to fight him just yet. But, once when you do train with me and with the rest of the Eternal Dragons, we will all pour our energy into you, Goku. And from there, you'll be able to get something called Dragon Instinct. Dragon Instinct? Yes, that is the true state of a dragon, and that anyone that gets that power will be able to finally realize the true power of a dragon, and you're the only one that can get it. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's begin the training! I need to get stronger so I can end Dai Shinken. He means business. I can tell he wants to really eliminate all of us. That's correct, and that's the reason why we all dragons will do everything we can to help you out, Goku. So let's begin. As Zalama and the rest of the dragons went and they began training Goku. As all of them went and began pouring their ki into Goku and with that, they also began training Goku. While that was happening, back on planet Earth, everyone got the news that Goku was saved by his eternal dragons and that he is in the dragon realm training with them. As the rest of the Z fires were wondering what they are going to do because they need to do everything they can to be prepared for this war. We then advise him that it is going to be very hard since they are going up against angels. But him, Miris, and Vados are all there ready to go and train them so they can all be prepared for this war. While that was happening, Vegeta and the rest of the Z fires can sense someone arriving to planet Earth as it was no one other than Dai Shinkit and the rest of the angels. They have now arrived to Universe 7 on planet Earth. Vegeta and everyone else began to trip out a bit since they were still training and that they weren't really ready for this to happen. After all, it has been only a few weeks since their last battle with Dai Shinken didn't need more time. But Dai Shinken gave them only a few weeks and now he came to end them once and for all and kill Goku at any cost. With that, he then looked towards him and said, I see you guys are all here, but tell me, where is Goku? <laughs> That's not your business! You're going to fight with us! Father! I strongly consider for you to reconsider this. It's quiet, Weez. You are going to die for supporting this angel. And the two of you. You guys disgrace the angel race by supporting the dragon. For that, you're going to be punished dearly. But I tell you this. Where is Goku? I'm right here! You're expecting me, well, here I am, Dai Shinken. Let's see what you and your rest of the angels can do. K Kakarot! Father! It's good you're back! We're here for you, son. First thing is first. We're gonna be fighting against angels, so I need all you guys to be ready. So here! Goku went and he made a wish, as all the Z fires were to be stronger than the angels, and therefore it gave all of them a new form. as Goku has now transformed into his Master Ultra Instinct. Now everybody, let's begin the attack! Everyone went and they charged right towards the angels. Vados, Miris, and Whis all decided to go enter the battlefield as they're fighting their fellow angels and with that it was a big power clash with the Z fighters versus the angels. Vegeta went and he powered up a blast and he aimed it towards one of the angel as he was very impressed with his new power and couldn't believe just how powerful he was. The angel went and they tried to hold their own against Vegeta, but Vegeta went and started to strike them in the stomach repeatedly. Bardock and Gohan did the same as they were holding their own against their opponent. Piccolo went and he shined a special beam cannon breaking one of the angel's staff and the angels tried to go and attack Piccolo but he was able to see their move. All of them were fighting one another until Goku looked right towards Dai Shinken and said, Well then, I guess it's a battle between you and me now Dai Shinken. Let's see what you got. <laughs> You may have used your Super Dragon Ball power to make them stronger, 
but you cannot beat me. Unfortunately for Goku, he was able to make only one wish every 24 hours. Unlike Shenron and the other Eternal Dragons who could only make one wish a year, for Goku he's only limited to 24 hours. With that, Goku went and he charged right towards Dai Shinken, while Dai Shinken did the same and their power clashed with each other and they were going back and forth. Dai Shinken tried to go and uppercut Goku but Goku instantly dodged it and in return he kicked him right in his face, getting Dai Shinken to be sent flying towards the ground. Once when he got up, Goku came right next to him and said, Is that all you got Dai Shinken? <laughs> You must really feel good about yourself, huh, Goku? I must admit, your power has definitely increased a lot. The last time I attacked you inside your Ultra Instinct form, you couldn't even keep up with me, let alone even touch me. But here, you managed to give me a bruise, calm me and impress. Hmm, I can see you're kinda salty about that, Daishinken. How about you show me what you got? My pleasure, Goku. You do know I still got more power than this, right? <laughs> Dai Shinken has now used his full power, as everyone saw a lot of energy coming out of his body and with that, he walked right towards Goku and said, What do you think? This is my true power. I made sure that I was able to achieve this form just for this day, so I could end you once and for all, dragon. Damn, his power definitely has increased a lot, but before Goku can say another word, Dai Shinken went and he strike Goku right in his face, getting Goku to be sent flying meters away. When Goku tried to stop himself, Dai Shinken was already there, as he went and kneed Goku right in his back, breaking it and from there he went and threw Goku towards the ground. Dai Shinken then powered up a blast and aimed it towards Goku. Due to the fact that his back was severely hurt, Goku couldn't move and from there he got hit head on. With that, Whis and everyone else managed to go and beat the angels. They did not kill them, they just beat them down so they couldn't move again. As Goku used the power to wish for all of them to be stronger than the angels and it was successful. With that, they diverted their attention towards Dai Shinken, as they saw that Dai Shinken easily went and knocked Goku down. Everyone went and they charged right towards him, but Jita went and started to attack Dai Shinken non-stop, while Bardock went and he continued to throw a lot of blasts towards him. Gohan went and he powered up his power and, and aimed a Kamehameha wave towards Dai Shinken, while Piccolo, Whis, Mirrors, and Vados all went and they continued to attack him non-stop. Dai Shinken then easily dodged all their attacks as he looked towards him and said, are you done giving me massages? That was a good warm up, but you guys ain't enough for me. Dai Shigen then went and deck Whis right in his face, kicked Vados breaking her jaw, and with that he went and strike Mirrors as all the three angels fell to the ground, they were mobilized. With that he went and made his way towards attacking the Z fires but before he can, Goku got up as he walked right towards Dai Shinken and he managed to heal his back and he smiled and said, Shit. Damn, I guess I took you a bit lightly huh Dai Shinken? Oh look at that, it looks like you have returned right back Goku, ready to die? No, that was my line, are you ready to die? Because I still got my true power, what are you talking about? Let me show you my dragon instinct! <laughs> After training with four eternal dragons and even Zalama himself and completing his training, he got all their energy poured into him and let's not forget Goku also managed to go and fuse himself with Zalama. Not 100% fused but Zalama gave all of his power to Goku as he has now lived within Goku, allowing Goku to finally achieve the pinnacle state of a dragon. Goku has now achieved Dragon Instinct. This is Dragon Instinct Goku. What? What the hell is this? I have never seen such power like this before. What are you? I'm sorry that took me much longer than the others, Dai Shinken. I don't have much practice on this one, but you can call this Dragon Instinct Goku. Dragon Instinct? Never in my life have I ever heard of something like that. There's no such thing as that. 
With that, Daishigen saw the atmosphere begun to change, as all the dragons, Shenron, Super Dragon, Tarambo, and even Parunga has appeared on planet Earth, and they're witnessing this battle. After all, Daishigen was hunting these dragons for a very long time, but now it's time for these dragons to get their revenge. Goku then looked towards him and said, It is time you die, Daishigen, and know what it means to feel fear. Share you wish! Dai Chicken went and he charged right towards Goku, as he tried to strike him but he instantly moved out of the way. Seeing that he couldn't touch Goku got him upset, as he went and tried to hit him again but this time Goku went and he kicked Dai Shinken right in the throat, getting him to be not able to breathe. Goku then took his face and he smashed it right towards the ground and kicked him away. Everyone was completely speechless and they couldn't believe what they were witnessing, Goku using his dragon instinct, which you can say kind of made him look like a dragon, but at the same time not. But it was a very new form that no one has ever anticipated or expect to see in a battle. With that, Daishigen got up as he got angry and from there Shenron was staring towards him. Daishigen got upset seeing that so he went and threw a blast towards Shenron. But Goku came running from the blast and got hit head on but saw it didn't even scratch him. Come on, is that your attack? How pathetic. I could do better than my sleep. Oh, you're very cocky, huh? I'll make you- Before Daishigen can finish his word, Goku came right next to him as he choked him and said, That's all you are. Nothing but empty threat. It's time I eliminate you, Daishigen. For years you scared my ancestor and even me, trying to make me feel like I'm being hunted by you. But now you'll know what it feels like to be hunted by us. Goku went and kicked Daishigen, getting to be sent flying out of space. Goku then followed as Dai Shinken went and he used 100% of his power. It is either be killed or go all out. I'm not gonna die right here to you. It doesn't matter how much power you use Dai Shinken. I am far stronger than you. As Dai Shinken went and tried right towards Goku and their power clashed with each other. As they're going at it but from there, Dai Shinken was the one who was getting his ass handed to him. While Goku continued to beat the shit out of him, Dai Shinken was speechless as he couldn't believe just how powerful Dragon Instinct is, to the point it's making Dai Shinken's power look like child's play in front of Goku. Goku then went and punched him as he went and powered up his fist, but from there the Super Dragon turned into his fist and he said, It is time I put an end to words this once and for all Dai Shinken. Now die! Goku went and aimed that fist right towards Dai Shinken, calling it Dragon Fire. With that, Dai Shinken went and he tried to do everything he can to break that fist but it wasn't strong enough as it went and consumed Dai Shinken and he died right there. Goku has finally managed to go and put an end towards this war once and for all as he went and killed Dai Shinken and now the dragon rays are not hunted by the angels anymore. With that, Zeno has appeared with his guard as Goku looked towards him and he said, So you're the king of everything, huh? I suppose you're the one who ordered him to do this. Well, not really. He told me that you guys are a threat, so it's best we eliminate you guys. I see. And now do you still see me as a threat? Well, you did kill Dai Shinken, but I'm willing to not do anything. How about we both live in peace, and I'll allow your dragon race to live on. And don't forget one thing. We are the stronger one here. You don't order us. Of course not. I want a truce between us, and I apologize for assuming that you guys are evil. Would you please forgive me? Okay then. I'll give you guys a last chance. One last request, Goku. Can you please bring back Dai Shinken? I know he, he did all this, but he did under my orders. You can blame me for it. Fine. Goku went and he shined a blast as Dai Shinken was wished back to be alive again. Once when he did, he was surprised to see Goku and said, What the? Why would you bring me back? Your Omni King has requested me to do so. Like I've been trying to tell you. We dragons are not evil, we're actually here to help you gods out. I'm very sorry Goku, I didn't know that. As he shook Goku's hand and from there they made a truce with the angels and the dragon. Goku with his new dragon instinct form has proved to be the strongest in the multiverse and that he is now able to make a wish inside his dragon instinct form anytime he wants. With that Goku went right back to his base. As he came back to his loved ones and everyone's very happy that the war was finally over. With that, everyone went right back to their loved ones and now a few days has passed since Goku managed to end the war and he was relaxing with his loved one. Goku decided to go and do some sparring as he was sparring with Whis and Vados and with that, 
someone has entered their world. Yo! What's up, man? Huh? Who are you? Oh, my name is Abbas. I'm actually here to invite you to one thing. And what is that? How would you like to join the Tournament of Goku? The Tournament of Goku? What is that? Pretty much every year we hold a tournament and we invite all the what-ifs Goku to come find a tournament to see who is the strongest one. And at the end, all those Gokus get to fight me. Fight you? Are you really that strong? <laughs> I don't like to say how strong I am, but how about you show me your Dragon Instinct form? I know everything what's going on in this timeline. How so? After all, they do call me the king of all timelines, so show me what you got. With that, Goku went and he used his Dragon Instinct form yet again. Alright, what do you want to see now? Now let me use one of my form. <laughs> okay then, you ready? As both Abbas and Goku went and they charged towards one another, and their power clashed. If you'd like to see the result of this battle, then make sure you check out the Tournament of Goku, which will be releasing this year. Thank you very much for watching and supporting this what if, as this is what I believe what would have happened if Goku was born with Dragon Key. I greatly appreciate all you guys for supporting me and showing your love. All you guys are really awesome. Please, guys, if you haven't joined my Discord server or my Instagram account, which I have made, click the links in the description below and join both of them. You'll really enjoy yourself inside my server and inside my Instagram page. And if you haven't subscribed to my boy Vegeta T23, Please give him a subscribe. He is a rise of a new T23. I'm Goku T23 and always my Z fans. Have an insane day.